Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. If you are new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. And if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Today, we are going to be doing a haul. I feel like it has been forever and a day. It's been ages since I have done a haul. I buy things here and there, but most of the time I don't shop like that that much to where it's enough things to give you guys a haul but to the past month I definitely definitely bought a bunch of stuff so I wanted to collect everything and show you guys what I got so if you're interested in seeing what I have collected all the products we've got it all okay we got makeup we got skincare we got some fragrance we got all the goodies that I love if you want to see what I've picked up in the last couple of weeks then just go ahead and keep watching and if you are not subscribed please 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 scroll down below tap that subscribe button we are so close to 6,000 followers it's low-key kind of wild I'm like yo my channel is growing it is making me so happy so I love that we are growing so please 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 make sure you check and make sure you subscribe listen I look at the views I look at the numbers I look at the engagement rate I, I do all of that okay because that's important that's what helps me and a lot of you guys aren't subscribed most people who watch my videos are not subscribed only like 25% of my subscribers are watching my videos so I'm like yo like what's going on so make sure you scroll down below you type that subscribe button so you can join the fam and we can continue growing and make sure you type that notification bell so you're notified when your girl will be uploading next and let's just go ahead and jump into the haul all right y'all we have a lot of stuff we've got Sephora lots lots of stuff in here we've got other boxes at the bottom so we're just gonna jump into it Actually, I'm going to first start off with a box from Trend Mood. I don't know if you guys know about Trend Mood. If you do not know about Trend Mood, you definitely should, especially if you are a beauty lover. She has her own brand, which is called Trend Mood, of course, um, where she collabs with other um, beauty brands to curate like a box. It's not monthly. It, I don't know how often it comes out, but usually she like releases when an upcoming box is coming out. This is volume 17. This is my second box that I've gotten from her. It is worth it, okay? She does these boxes that are like $40, like yeah, $40, $45. And when I tell you it has everything in there, you get like at least $300 worth of product. You have so many things, at least seven full-size products. So it's a steal. It's a great way to try new products out at a fraction of the price and she collaborates with literally all brands like every brand that you can think of um so i am never disappointed when i get her boxes so i'm super excited to see this one so just gonna open it up and i this box was 46 dollars is how much it was and look at all of the stuff that you get now tell me this the I have so much stuff in here. All of this for 40 bucks? Like, you've got to be kidding me. Ooh, I'm super, super excited. Okay, so we're gonna first start off with the first product I see. This is the, what is it, Strivec Strivectin Advanced Retinol Nightly Renewal Moisturizer. You guys know I love skincare and I have been continuously doing my skin cycle that I mentioned in I want to say it was my August favorites. If you have not watched that video, I will link it up here so you guys can watch it. But I've been doing skin cycling the past since past month, month and a half, and that's just going to be my new skincare routine for the rest of my life. Um, as I mentioned, you exfoliate on the first day with your acids. The second day, you use retinol, and then the two days after that, you essentially recover, which means you're not you're not doing any stripping on any skin. You're not doing any exfoliation. You're just strictly washing and hydrating your skin. I've been doing that and it's a great, great like skincare routine because it gives your skin enough time to recover, to rebuild, instead of you just continuously stripping and stripping and stripping and stripping. So I, that's what works for me. I don't know if you guys have tried it. Comment down below, let me know if you have tried the skin cycling thing since I mentioned it. This is um, a retinol moisturizer, so I will be incorporating this on my retinol days for my skincare routine. And retinol is really good for your skin. Um, it, it works differently on everyone. It really depends on the percentage of retinol and the potency of what you're using. But retinol is an amazing, amazing product. And I feel everyone should include retinol in their skincare because it helps... Um, it helps make your skin rejuvenation process a lot quicker, hence getting better 
skin. So that's the first product, so I'm excited to try that out. Another skincare, you guys know, ooh, I love moisturizers. Like moisturizers and serums are my favorite thing with skincare, so I love trying new serums and moisturizers out. So this next product is the Kopari Moisture Whipped Ceramide Cream. It looks like this. Let me open it up so I can see how this baby looks like. This looks like it's supposed to be a very hydrating cream. It's filled with ceramides. Let's see what it says. With ceramides, hyaluronic acid, vegan desert milk, and whipped coconut milk, manifest hydrated skin with our ultra hydrating moisture whipped ceramide cream. This luxurious whipped texture replenishes dry, dehydrated skin with active ingredients like ceramide and hyaluronic acid. Naturally derived hydrators like vegan desert milk and coconut milk work together to reduce the appearance of fine lines. You know, every time a moisturizer says reduces the appearance of fine lines, I'm like, girl, but do you really? They, honestly, I don't really care about the stuff like that. People, we need to learn how to be comfortable with aging gracefully. Just age gracefully, okay? We're not meant to be young forever. That's how life works. Anyways, so this is how the uh, moisturizer looks like. Cool little packaging, like it. It looks like it's pretty thin thick which i love especially now that it's getting to the cooler months the temps honey the temps here in georgia oh they're, they're dropping they dropped real quick it was very night and day like one week it was like 80 high 80s and then the next week was like fall like straight up fall 50s in the morning 60s and high in mid 70s if anything that's the that's what we've been dealing with here in georgia so Fall is definitely falling. She's here to stay. Ooh, this is a serum. This is the Kinship Self Smooth 10% Glycolic Resurfacing Serum. Exfoliate, brighten, and nourish. Cool, cool, cool. Let me see. Ooh, okay. This looks like this. Looks really pretty. It, I wonder, it has strawberry. Let me smell it. Hmm. I wonder if this is gonna remind me of the Glow Recipe um, Salicylic Acid Serum, the Strawberry Serum. I love that one. I love, love, love that one. So I'll keep you guys up to date on all these products that I'm showing you um, and let you guys know how I end up liking them. So make sure you keep a lookout for that. Okay, um, we have some makeup stuff now. It came with the new e.l.f. Brow Lift and clear this is supposed to be like a brow what are, what what's, what do they call them the brow thingamabobs you know when you like lam laminate lamination <laughs> i cannot think of it but this is supposed to be like a brow lamination kit so it came with the actual product and you also get the little spoolie that comes with the brush and the flat side to kind of lay the product down so that's cool i don't usually do brow lamination but i'm not opposed to it so i will give that a shot also received a uh what is this this is a hydrating hand sanitizer i've seen this all over ig touchland hand sanitizers i've seen these like literally all over the place so cool excited to try that out it's hand sanitizer nothing special but gotta love a good hand sanitizer though because some of them really be drying your hands out like they really do Okay, ooh, okay, so this is a fun stuff. We got some Danessa Myricks. So we got four pro Do you see how I'm talking about? Like, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six stuff, and I'm still going. All of this for $40. Like, you cannot beat it. Okay, so we got two of the Danessa Myricks um, color fix. Um, they're both the matte one. I got the shade Chocolate and Desert Rose. And these are, like, multi-purpose use. It's a liquid pigment, so you can do a lot with it. You can use it as a base for eyeshadow, you can use it as eyeliner, you can use it as blush, you can use it, you could do anything with this, it's just a liquid pigment. So this is the shade Chocolate, which is really, really pretty. I'm going to love using this for smoky eyes and a lot of eye stuff, maybe even lip, you know, I don't know, I might, I might get a little freaky with it. So got that shade, and then this one is called Desert Rose, which from the outside, it looks really pretty and I feel like, I would use this as like a liquid blush. Let's see. Let's see what this color is giving. Oh yeah, this would be a really pretty blush color. It's like a nice muted, like mauve purpley kind of shade. Oh yeah, this would be really, really pretty on the cheeks. I can already see it. So got these two liquid pigments from Danessa Myricks. Also got one shadow from Danessa Myricks. This is from her new Lightwork 
5, volume 5 palette. It's the most newest one. You guys know I've been raving about her volume 3 palette that I've shown you a gajillion times now and that you need to have. So I already know I love her um, quality, her pigment, her um, everything. Everything about her shadows are just out of this world, literally out of this world. So this is, I think, one shade from like the newest big palette that she just came out with. I'll, sh I'll put a picture up here for it. Um, I'm personally not going to get it because I like the one that I have already. Those colors are colors that I go, like I rear to more anyways. The newest one that she has that's out, it's pretty, but it's more colorful than my liking. I love color, but I'm more of like a neutral slash color kind of girl. I'm not like deep dive into color all day, every day. So that's why I'm not going to be picking it up. But this is the shade Paradise. Press wipe chrome. Swirl finger to activate the pressed chrome flakes. This is wild. Like, look at this. I'm going to swatch this for you guys. Oh my God. It feels so weird. Hold on. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is like a foil. Oh, <laughs> yo, like this is literally like foil. It looks like foil. Like it's not like a shadow and it's not like a cream. It's like this weird foil thing. I'm not flicking you guys off. What? And see, this is, listen, the amount of things you could do with makeup is wild. I mean, wow. Can you guys see that? Sheesh. All right. And then I guess with that, it came with the Danessa Myricks um, Chrome Amplifier. So this is supposed to be one of those, um, what is it called? It's like a doe foot applicator, but it's specifically for her chrome um, shades, which are a little tricky to use, but I'm glad that they gave this to us so I can apply that correctly. Yeah, that was everything. And then I got a little um, Sephora Smooth and Blur Primer. So that's all that came in the Trend Mood Box. Like I said, you guys definitely have to check these boxes out. They are a bang for your buck. You get to try so many different products and you get at least like seven to eight products and it's like $40. And one of these products usually comes out to the price itself. So it's definitely worth it in my opinion. So check out out trend mood if you have not already okay so that was that now we're gonna jump into some more goodies Ooh, I love unboxings do you guys comment down below and let me know if you guys love hauls or unboxings I do I like to see what people buy I don't know anyways okay so what did Lorene pick up from Sephora well actually I'm gonna start off with something that is not from Sephora it is a new launch so let's take a look at that first and then we'll jump into Sephora products. So I'm not sure if you guys know her. Um, if you do, if you like makeup, I'm pretty sure you know her, but I'm Reezy. I'll put a picture of her here. Um, she collabed with Pretty Little Thing and came out with some makeup products, which I, first of all, did not know Pretty Little Thing makes makeup. And I don't know how I feel about these fast fashion brands trying to jump into beauty. Comment down below and let me know because I just feel like why? <laughs> like there's already enough beauty products and beauty brands, skincare brands. I just don't understand why fast fashion is trying to make money off of beauty. I mean, I know why it's all about money. They know it's a humongous industry. It's a very lucrative industry to jump into, but it's like really like I've never tried like fashion over makeup. I see it everywhere on Instagram. It just does not it doesn't excite me. It doesn't do anything. Um, I have never tried Shein makeup. Um, this is my first time trying like fast fashion makeup, but it is backed by someone who I actually really like. That's the only reason why I bought it because I was like, Ooh, I'm Reezy. One thing about Amra, one thing about Amreezy, she was going to put her foot in the products that she comes out with. Um, I have her palette that she came out with with Anastasia Beverly Hills. Gorgeous palette. Such a beautiful palette. But yeah, anyways, I just wanted to pick up some products and try them out. So it was, she came out with lipsticks, lip glosses, um, some cream blushes. The cream blushes were just not it color-wise because, you know, melanated. So they just looked a little too light for me. So I was not interested in picking those up. But the lip products look really good. So... I picked up a couple of those. I did pick up the Peaches and Cream 
um, lip kit, which this comes with three products. It comes with the darkest lip liner. So there's supposed to be three lip liners, three lipsticks, three lip glosses, two liquid highlighters, and three cream blushes, if I'm not mistaken. That's the collection. But I picked up the Peaches and Cream Lip Kit. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys that. It comes with these products. I love the packaging. Like the nude, the browns, like this is, you guys know I'm all about the nudes and the browns. So this Lip Trio, and I will make sure that I link all these products down below. This Lip Trio comes with the darkest lip liner, which looks like this. This is in the shade Brownstone, number three. So I'm going to swatch that. It does look creamy. I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you see it? I wouldn't say this is like, it's a nice dark color, but it's not like, oh my God, like this is dark. Like I'm gonna take my um, LA Girl Shockwave lip liner and put that next to it. Okay, well, they're not, okay. <laughs> So this one is the LA Girl Shockwave Lip Liner that I use all the time. And then underneath is the Pretty Little Thing um, by Amra Lip Liner. So I would say it's just more cool. It's like a regular brown. It's definitely not like deep by any means. Um, I will definitely still use it, but it's not like a super duper 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 duper, duper chocolate lip liner. Now if you're lighter than me, Yes, it'll be deep on you, but if you're my shade and darker, it's just gonna be like a standard brown, which I'm okay with. I have a lot of deep brown liners anyway, so it's fine. Um, and then it comes with this lip gloss called Light It Up, which looks like this. The lip gloss looks really pretty. This is like a nude color that has like gold shimmer. Ooh, can you guys see this? It's super pretty. I would put it on my lips right now, it comes with that and then the lipstick in the shade Photogenic, which looks really pretty actually. It looks like a very gorgeous, like peachy, um, I would say like a peachy nude color. I like it. Let me, let me swatch it and see how she looks like. Yeah, it's definitely giving more peachy vibes. This is the color right here, but this is definitely gonna be really nice together with like a deep brown. Putting those two together and like patting the lips is gonna be really pretty. So that's what comes in the lip kit. You get these three products. And then I also picked up, I picked up all the glosses and two of the lipsticks. So these are the other two glosses. I picked up the shade It Girl and the shade NYC. Ooh, okay, NYC is like rose gold galore, heaven shimmer. This is how that looks. And It Girl is like a standard like nude, a beautiful just nude gloss, which you guys know I'm all about. So this is the It Girl. So these are the three glosses together. Okay, these are the three glosses. So this is the uh, It Girl is the nude brownish color with no shimmer. Then you have NYC, which is like a rose gold, coppery kind of gloss. And then you have, what is this called? Light It Up, which is like a champagne kind of color with gold opal shimmers. And then lastly, I picked up the another lipstick, which is called Soho. So there's, this, there's three lipsticks. There's the Soho, which I'm about to show you. There is the, which is this called? This is Photogenic, which is number three. Soho is number two. And the first one is supposed to be a super duper light nude. And I was interested in getting it because I just, I didn't think it would work with me. Well, it's more pinky. So the first one is a bit is a very pink shade, which I don't really care for pink lipsticks. I just like more nude beige lipsticks. So this is Soho. And ooh, yeah, mm -hmm. Soho looks like this. And I'm gonna swatch it next to Photogenic so we can see the difference. Oh yeah, Soho is definitely giving cool tone nude vibes. Oh, you can see a huge difference. Okay, so this is Soho. As you can see, it's very nude, um, cool tone vibes. And this is Photogenic, which is that corally 
kind of nude. They both look really well. They're both gonna look really good with brown lip liner, so I'm excited to try those out. So that's the um, collection that I picked up from Pretty Little Thing with um, Reezy. Okay, so now we can jump into the Sephora goodies. I feel like I need to wipe the back of my hand, but I'll do it later. Okay, so the first thing I picked up, let's start with skincare. Okay, so I picked up, I've been wanting to try these two products forever. And when I saw that they came out with this duo, like trial size duo, I was like, oh my god, I need to try it out. So I picked up the Caudalie Pores and Glow Duo Set. I see so many people talk about the Caudalie Mist, the beauty elixir forever, and so many people love it, and I've been wanting to try it out. It is pricey, so I want to try out the small size first to see what the hype is about. And I've also been wanting to try out this vitamin C um, instant detox mask. I hear a lot of good things about both of these products, and they came out with a kit for only $22. It's worth $28, bucks. Um, and you try both of these. So you get the trial size of the beauty elixir and the trial size of the mask. So I picked that up so I can try those products out, see if I like it. The other products are makeup. I did pick up the new House Labs foundation. I've seen a bunch of people review it. I just wasn't like super duper like intrigued to where I felt like I had to buy it and do a review like immediately once it came out. But after watching some videos, I was like, hmm, a lot of people really like this foundation. Let me try it out. So I picked it up and I got the shade 460 medium deep warm so i will be trying that out and pretty soon i'll probably do like a get ready with me trying out these new products that i'm showing you guys so we can see how everything works but i picked that foundation up so excited to try that out another product this is actually very very new it just came out last week um this is the new anastasia beverly hills rose metals palette i'm excited about this very excited you guys know the last palette that Anastasia Beverly Hills came out with I love still love great palette great colors great pigment just great all overall great I love the new look of the palettes so when I saw this I was like "Ooh, girl gotta try it like I'm excited like eyeshadows are exciting me again because it's been I feel like there was a long time where I was just not doing eyeshadow I didn't really care for it. I was just doing the same thing over and over but I'm like getting excited about eye looks again and I'm just so happy about that but this is the Anastasia Rose Metals palette so it comes like this this is how the packaging is it's like a shimmery metallic kind of look um and let's open up the actual package oh yeah this is really pretty so this is how the palette looks like if you have the Jackie Ina palette it's similar texture like it has that leather semi leathery kind of feel it looks like this really really pretty and this is the back and then when you open up the palette oh these colors are so pretty these are the colors of the palette so it's giving very like I don't even know like I don't know I just really like the colors um, it's supposed to be like a very grungy shimmery smoky kind of palette the shimmers are just really speaking to me and that's why I got the palette the mattes are really good too and I, I know Anastasia has great 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 formulas when it comes to their eyeshadows so I know these matte colors are gonna be very potent this palette it looks beautiful like it looks so pretty when I first saw the campaign for it I was like oh I want to try that so I picked it up it is in store so I snatched that up so the next product that I picked up is the one size ultimate setting powder you guys know that ever since I tried out this powder which is their pressed powder I have been in love with it I see so many people talk about the translucent powder and for some reason I just never tried it out but I was like I have to like I had to try this out if I love the pressed powder that much and people are talking about the translucent powder just the same if not more then I have to give it a shot so I picked up the translucent powder I have a lot of powder so it's not like I needed one but I just wanted to see like what this was about because everyone says it's so blurring so smoothing so just like soft and nice on the skin so I picked up the shade translucent in the one size powder so excited to try that baby out lastly I picked up another Patrick Ta um, lip gloss the plumping gloss you guys know I love their plumping glosses I have the shade superficial which is 
practically almost done. That's why I picked up another one, which is why I picked up the clear shade. This is the shade Looks Natural. So it looks like this, because I want to make I want to make this my everyday gloss. I love the consistency of these glosses. They're very plumping, very soft. Make sure your lips look so juicy and smooth, but it's not sticky. So I wanted like a clear gloss for when I don't have any makeup on or anything like that. I can just put it on and it just looks like nothing on my lips. So I picked this up and I love, love, love this formula. One of my favorite glosses. I highly recommend if you've never tried those glosses out to check them out. Lastly, we have some fragrances. Super duper excited for this next thing because unfortunately it's not available anymore, but I still want to show you guys. Um, it was a limited um, edition or limited collection that Demi Rawling came out with Javoy Parfums. If you guys don't know Demi Rawling, she's a um, fragrance YouTuber and I've been following her for a while and she has a lot of good recommendations or a lot of good fragrances that she recommends. I really would recommend her channel if you guys love all things fragrances. Her name's Demi Rawling, so check her out. But she collabed with this fragrance brand called Javoy um, Parfumer and came out with the Discovery Set. I did have to order this when it came out the day of. Um, there was only a limited amount, so it sold out pretty much all at the by the end of the day. It was all gone. I'm so glad I got my hands on it because you get 14 uh, testers for 14 different perfumes. This is how it looks like. And let me tell you, these perfumes are not like no cheap. This is, this is literally like a niche fragrance box. Like if I had to describe it, it's niche fragrances. And you guys know I've been stepping into the niche world. Like I love fragrances. I feel like I'm over the designer fragrances. Like I'll try different fragrances out. If I like it, I like it. But I've stepped into the niche realm where it's different. It's just a little bit different. The scents are a bit more refined. They're more complex. They're more, they're just not the typical day to day. And that's kind of where I've been or I've been interested in as far as like newer purchases for perfumes. Cause I mean, there's only so many perfumes you can get. Um, I don't like to, I've, I've gotten to a point where I have a, a lot of my collection that are staples. So anything that I'm adding to my collection, it has to be something that is really, really unique and just different. So niche fragrances are the best way to go when it comes to finding those really complex um, scents that you just don't smell <laughs> on the street anywhere or on the mall. Like, like you smell these like when you're traveling. You smell these where like, you know, when you walk by someone in a different place you've never been and you're like, what the hell is she wearing? I got this discovery set. It was 50 euros, but I spent... I had to pay for shipping because, whew, let me tell you how that shipping was like, girl. I ended up spending like 80 bucks on it because um, of shipping because it was coming all the way from France. But honestly, 80 bucks is not bad because I'm getting 14, two to, uh, 14, two to three ml samples of fragrances that are at least like $200. So I'm like, if you do the math, if I was to go and buy each single fragrance sample on its own, it will be at least like $10 per bottle. And usually the fragrance samples that you get online are like 1 ml, 0.5 ml. So you're getting 3 mls, which is a really significant amount of um, testers. There's only two fragrances in here that I already own. I have a lot Capital, which you guys know I absolutely love. And I also have Silky Woods by um, Goldfield and Banks. Those two are my faves. Everything else are fragrances I've heard, seen people talk about. And I was like, oh, I have to smell these. And so happy I got these. Um, so far, I have smelled a majority of them. I can already tell you there are a couple. I'm like, oh, add to the list of what I'm going to get because they smell just Mmm, smells so good. Like, oh my goodness, I'm so happy I got this. Listen, oh, it smells so good. But that was the last thing that I purchased. I just wanted to show you guys that. Um, unfortunately, it is no longer available, but I'm pretty sure you guys like perfume, so I just had to mention it to you guys. I thought it was a great deal. I would definitely follow her so you can, you know, if she ever comes out with other stuff in the future, you can purchase because this was great. For me to try, like, basically 12 new perfumes, 
for that price and these perfumes are like very high more expensive perfumes i was like i cannot beat that so that's why i picked this up Alrighty, you guys that is it we are done with the haul video i feel like i talked about so many different products i hope it was this video isn't too long but i had to do a haul it's been so long i was looking through my channel i was like damn when was the last time i did a haul i can't even remember but hopefully all these products that i got work out for me i'm excited to try new things you guys know that i love trying new things i can never be content one thing about Lorraine is she can't be content with what she has, unfortunately. It's a toxic trait, but it's helpful in my, I guess, in what I like to do because I have no choice but to try new stuff for you guys. But it is what it is. I'm excited nonetheless to try some new products. I will probably be doing a video soon trying out all of the products that I mentioned to you guys. Um, get ready with me probably using some of these products. So keep a lookout for that. Make sure you are subscribed if you are not already. So scroll down below and make sure that that subscribe button is clicked. And while you're there, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified when I will be uploading next. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you want more future hauls from me. And comment down below and let me know if you guys have already tried out any products that I, I mentioned. Give me a little heads up. Like, give me the tea. Do I need to, to use something differently or make sure to stay away from something? Like, let me know if you guys have tried out anything that I mentioned to you guys today. I will We'll make sure that I link everything in the description box below. So if you are interested in picking anything up, please scroll down and check out the description box because everything will be down there. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Bye.